Uh, I had an experience that changed my life forever, and I watched a man disappear. I watched a man disappear and, and turn into pure white light. I had uh, what is called a kundalini experience, which is an awakening of the base chakra. <laughs> Madam I, yes sir, what brought you to CPAC? Uh, two weeks ago, sir, I was not in politics. Interesting, interesting. Oh, oh, let me uh, turn these on. We, by the way, would you mind if we record the conversation? Absolutely. Please Are we live streaming right now? So just to let you know, we're live streaming. We've got GoPros going on. Fantastic. And we're also recording your audio. Fantastic. Yeah? This is just to demonstrate that what we're doing here is possible. I Great. do this with like everybody, so yeah. Fantastic. Nice. So two weeks ago, you weren't even in politics. No, sir. You mind if we introduce ourselves again? Also? Of course. My name is... Uh, Hi, my, my name is Ty. Hi, Ty. My name is Bradley Burlingame. I'm the event director for Walkaway Foundation with Brandon Strzok. Look at you. Okay. No, right? Nice. Okay, and two weeks ago you weren't even in politics. No, sir, I was not. What's going on? Uh, yeah, how, how'd that happen? Yeah, this is a, quite the transition. Yeah, it is. I, I, have an, I have an interesting life story. Um, I started in radio, uh, oh. FM radio, back in the early 90s. I'm in FM radio right now. No kidding. Yeah, I got a Where show broadcasting out of WOZO Knoxville. Oh, fantastic, We have man. a call-in show, and we just have anyone talk about whatever they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Just like this, but on the radio. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Good yeah, for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a fantastic medium, and it's and sadly it's kind of been sold short over the last decade or so, right? Uh, you know, yeah. Radio radio playlists are are tired and beat. Yes. Um, you know, I, I listen to. I, I'm based out of Los Angeles, right? Nice. He's well, from LA. Yeah. Nice for you because you don't live there. Yes. Very nice for me that I could Correct. Live. <laughs> but um, I'll never go to Wyo again. But I, you know, I, I listen to conservative radio, mm. and I am um, sorely disappointed mm. because I, th I think there are a lot of conversations that could be had, and are not being had, and I think those conversations have moved to alternative platforms like Periscope, YouTube. That's where those conversations are being had. Now, okay. Right? Yeah. And when I listen to conservative radio, it, it is. Um, how about this? Vanilla ice cream is wonderful. Yes. Oh, sh yeah, it's the best ice cream. It's fantastic. It's the best ice cream. I do not wish to eat vanilla ice cream three times a day for the rest of my life. I was about to say it's the same episode of over stuff and over, and over, and over and over and over and over again, which is great if you first discover it and you're like. These guys are saying what I'm thinking, but they keep saying the same thing. And you're like, I don't want to keep thinking the same thing. There's a uh, there's a fine art mm. to speaking and not saying anything. Does that make sense? Yes, I like uh, to call it deep at ease. Sports figures oh, yeah. are fantastic at that. Oh yeah, politicians wonderful at that, and that is what I'm getting out of a lot of conservative radio now. QVC salesman. Correct. Yeah. It's a lot of words. Doesn't mean a thing. Doesn't mean anything. No, doesn't mean a thing. Equally applicable to the opposite. Correct. Yeah. So to, to, to go back to it, sure. I, uh, I was in FM radio, mm. ended up working for some record labels, big mm. record labels, met okay. a lot of rock stars, right? Um, and ended up uh, doing marketing and consulting, uh, special event work, which is what I do now. You've had a really accomplished career. Uh, it is, it's been a, it's... It's been a long, strange trip, as the uh, okay. as the Grateful Dead once said. All right. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and my most recent position was in blockchain technology and financial technology, working okay. for uh, working for a project called Litecoin, which is the second oldest cryptocurrency in existence. I know about Litecoin. Yes. I know about Litecoin. Very, yeah. very pleased to have that experience. Uh, and, but the majority of my money was being made off of doing independent contractor work for large tech companies. Mm. Uh, I am a rather hardcore social and fiscal conservative. Okay, yeah. And at a certain point, Ty, I got- We probably see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, just letting you know. Uh, yeah, no, I, yeah. Would, I, would, yeah. I would think so, right? And, and it got to a point where I was having an ethical crisis with how I was making my money. Interesting. I you, wait. You had yeah, an ethical crisis. Could you elaborate on just that a little bit? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, these big tech companies pay very well. Yes, they do. Ready? It is quite clear that they do not have our best interest in mind. Oh. Right. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. One of, one of my favorite examples was uh, Sundar Pichai, who's the CEO of Google. Uh, he was in front of Congress about a year and a half ago. 
uh, and was being asked some pretty hard questions. The next morning, sir, Google's office in China caught fire. Not two weeks later, not two months later, the next day. And that woke me up. And that woke me up. And I, I consider myself to be the most authentic version of me that I've ever been. Just so I can keep up, the Please. implication is uh, uh, Google was hiding something in China so they burned the evidence? Maybe. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, that woke you up, so it has yes, to be sir. some certainty to it, right? Uh, Let's just be honest. Well, yes, I, um, my mother didn't raise a dummy. Okay. Right? So you don't want to hit it on the hill, but you <laughs> love your euphemisms. Yes, sir. All right, fair enough. My mother did not raise a dummy. And, fair enough. Uh, I know the difference between uh, horse crap and shoe polish. Okay. And that's horse crap. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And so Something I, fishy was there. Correct, sir. And so I decided that it was time for me to live fully in alignment with who I am as a person. Did that take time to discover, or did you already know who you were as a person? Um, you know, it's a, it's a rather long conversation, but I have been on a journey of self-discovery and self-awareness since 2006. Um, and it was, it was the last step in my evolution as a person. I mean, we're, we're, we're never done. Yeah. Right? We're Why 2006 done. to start with? I, uh, I was fortunate enough... Like 14 years ago. Yeah. yeah. I, I was fortunate enough to be introduced to, uh, to a Swami. Oh, look at that. To okay. a Swami who has a dual lineage in both Hinduism and Buddhism. Was that 14 years ago? Yes, sir. Okay, so you started that path then. Okay, okay. Um, he's still around, still practicing. Um, arguably the most powerful human being I've ever met in my life. Uh, and it's a great story, but it's a long story. But what I will tell you is that uh, in June of 2016, uh, I had an experience that changed my life forever, and I watched a man disappear. I watched a man disappear and, and turn into pure white light. I had uh, what is called a Kundalini experience, which is an awakening of the base chakra. And it is, um, it, it is, it's like an ecclesiastic seizure. You are filled with spirit. Uh, but because the awakening process is different for everyone, um, it manifested itself in chaos. It manifested itself in sadness. Mm -hmm. It manifested, it, it, it brought up everything. You didn't have... It brought up everything. Yeah, it sounds like I didn't have a, fa uh, a toolkit of emotions to deal with the experience that I had. I am I am reaching for something that's applicable. Like someone gave you a, a, a screw that had like a weird design and you're like, there's nothing in my toolkit of emotions to, to fit to this. Correct, sir. And, and so I you're... Spent you're so like for the last 14 years or so or like up to now like you're struggling to like figure out how to like make things fit from so, the experience that you have? Does so that I'll, make sense? I'll refer back to a, a Buddhist quote that I love. There are two things to consider when one is attempting to walk a path. Okay. And in the Buddhist sense, that is the path to enlightenment, yes? There are two mistakes one can make. One is not beginning. Two is not going all the way. Okay. All right? All right. So um, I went through a period of time that... Uh, could have been looked at as recovery. It could have been looked at as self-examination on such a level that's almost insurmountable. At a certain point, I felt like, uh, I, I, I'll be honest, uh, around 2010, I wish someone would have put me somewhere for a little while. Oh. It, it, got, it got weird. It got dark. Um, but I understand now what it was. It was me coming to terms and reconciling with my entire life. Mm. My entire life was being shown to me. And I had to process and work through all of that, right? And so um, that began the journey. I've always been a seeker. You know, I, I was reading Chariots of the Gods from Eric Von Doniken at 10 years old. Just, just so that we stay on track. Yes, sir. Two weeks ago, you weren't political. Correct. This is, this this is, is quite the, the journey that you've gone up to here. Correct, sir. But now you're here. I am here, sir. What got you here? Uh, I decided, and thank you for keeping me on track, by the way. You're fine. Uh, I could no longer live 
an inauthentic life. And the work portion was the last part. Okay. And so I began to look for jobs. Uh, you know, I, 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 I was looking for jobs with conservative companies. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't really even thinking about getting into politics. But strangely enough, I've been studying geopolitics and geofinance for 15 years. And yeah. I feel like I know more about both of those things and the intersectionality of it than almost It also sounds I know. like you have a bunch of principles with regard to fiscal responsibility that resonates well with the party. Have you found like the, the religious outlook like is very much more flat note in the conservative side? Did you find a space for your religious beliefs to fit and coalesce within this as well? Uh, yeah, I, I don't, um, you know, I went to a private Baptist high school when okay. I was 14 years old. So you know the you know the stories? Yes, I do. You know the stories? Yes, uh -huh. I, I know the stories. Uh, and I have found for simplicity's sake, Ty, that um, God simply is, and I simply am. All right. And, and I don't, um, you know, I, I've had, like I said, ecclesiastic seizures before. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've stared into the face of the unknown. Um, and I'm quite comfortable with my version of God. You're comfortable with your version of God. Yes, sir. Yes, and, it, and it's somewhere, you know, I, I tell people that I am a, uh, a Christian with a, a mild case of Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Do you mind if we ask, can I talk about that God a little yeah, bit? Oh, please. It's one of my favorite favorite topics. Really? Oh, okay. I, I could talk about God all day. What else is there, I sir? won't take your time. No, not at all. But I am generally trying to understand please. more about this. Please. Please know that I'm not challenging on whether or not that God is true or not. Mm. That's not, that is not the point of this conversation. Not at all. I want to know more about like the method that you're using to, to build a relationship or know that God is true. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I think so. Will you expand so, a little more, please? Yeah, so I like to think of it as like if I flip a coin and I caught it and I put it on the back of my hand, yeah? It's like, this coin might be heads up, right? But I want a good way to know that. And if someone said, hey, I know it's heads up because I read it in a fortune cookie, I'm like, okay, you might be still right, but that method that you're using isn't really reliable. Isn't there a better method that we can use to figure out if that coin's heads up? Right? So it's not even a question of like if the coins is heads up or not. It's more of like, do we have a reliable way to get to that conclusion? Does it make sense? Yeah, it, it, it does. You know, I I, um, I tend to... Can uh, I play with this thing? <laughs> I, I tend to... Uh, um, I tend to avoid getting down into a particular dogma. I yeah. tend to avoid you seem, that. You seem to be a... You seem to be beyond that. So I think this is actually going to be a fun conversation. Yeah. And if, it's, it's, and if we want to eject any time, that's all no, good with me. Yeah? No, nah, son, I'll go as deep as you want. Man, I, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to like you a lot. So actually, you're already cool. Yes, sir. If we said this was like, I'm absolutely sure God doesn't exist, or that, that God doesn't exist, and I'm absolutely sure this God does exist. Mm. And we said this is the limit, yes, sir. and it's not necessarily a virtue statement, because I know you do believe in it. I'm just saying, like, is there room for you to continue to grow? Or is there room for questions? That would be like less than 100%. Where would you be on this? And you can use that. Uh, I, would, I would say... Hey, that's not bad. Yes, That's sir. not bad. You're not closed on the position. I'm just making sure, like, this is, I'm closed-minded. There's no way I can be wrong. This is, there's still things that I need to figure out, but I'm very sure that it's the case. The only thing I know, Tyrone, is that I don't know any of that. Okay, then I would, I would say that's more like this. Well, it's, it's, I'm, a, it's, I'm like this on so many different things. You can, you can throw this on a wall. But I'm, <laughs> I'm that on that. Let's put it to you this way. Um, you know, Jesse Lee Peterson, I saw yeah. you did a, a sit down with him. Yeah, 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 it was a really good talk. Uh, I, was in, I was in a position about a year and a half ago where I had run into a wall on several things. I had been done with living in Southern California. I felt yeah, like... Yeah, Southern California is kind of bad. Oh, the Lord. food's not bad. Dude, I can get good food in Phoenix. You can get good food in Phoenix. This is true. I got good yeah. Mexican food in uh, Tennessee, where I'm at. Oh, where it, yes. Like, half hour down from Nashville, like, you will find some amazing places. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. And, and, it's not hard. And, and, the other, and the other out is, but the weather's so good. There's weather, good weather anywhere. Yes, sir, there is. Right, but you know, I, and so I, I, no, not at all. So I, I mentioned that I, um, I attend Jesse Lee's uh, Bond Men's Group, oh, nice, which, okay, which cool. meets in Mid City, Los Angeles, the first Thursday of every month. It is a group of about thirty to forty 
conservative men from age 17 to 70. Okay. And it was such a breath of fresh air. And it was such To a, be in a different environment where you can like express yourself well, differently without yeah, having to worry about it, toes being stepped it, on. And I know that Jesse can be very controversial. And it's, oh, one, hey, and hey. it's one of the things that he does best is stir the pot, yes? He, he asks hard questions. Provocator. I don't necessarily, like, you know, I haven't, I haven't bought the t-shirt, right? I didn't join the fan club. I didn't sign up for the email list. But I felt, after being such a stranger in Los Angeles, mm. that a group of conservative men coming together and talking about masculine issues, talking yeah. about having a relationship with a living God, I found that... You had a... It's an experience being part of a community. Is that what made you... Is that the method that you're using to become more than... 50 to more certain? I find yeah. that the more I get out of my own way and let God drive, the better my life becomes. Yes? Because my will is based on the ego and the tape recordings of my life experiences. Oh, whoa. This is like a catch-22. It's like, if you choose, I don't know, this... I don't want to get too much in the weeds here, no. but I'm wondering, like, would you mind telling me, because I'm still looking for this answer, like, what's the most reliable way that you are using to know that you're, that the God that you, that you live with and have a relationship with exists and is, and is actually the case? Silence. Silence. I've never heard silence before. Let me silence. talk to this. Okay. I've never heard silence as an answer before. This is great. Silence. What do you mean by silence? Um, Prayer is you asking God for things. Mm -hmm. Sitting in silence is demonstrating the patience to listen for the answers. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I Keep that, going. Keep going. That makes a lot of sense. No, I'm, I'm listening. To um, this. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm again. I'm not a Buddhist. I'm not anything. I hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm just me. Silence and accepting, or you're you're opening up yourself. What happens then? Uh, I, I find clarity there. I find clarity there. I find that at the end of the day, uh, a, a sort of self-reliance, that, that, it, that it's, it's mm -hmm. silence is the closest I can come to connection, right? Is it possible to be silent and, and still get that same clarity without a God belief? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, there's, that's the wonderful part about uh, having a meditative practice or, or being involved in Buddhism. I you, get a lot out of meditation. You don't, God doesn't enter into it, sir. The only thing that Buddhism is, is a, a set of, of rules or suggestions mm. for you to deal with being in this 3D reality. So as for you, God is like, um, sort of like a label that you're putting onto this self-fulfillment that you get when you just step out of your own way. God's the reason I'm here. As in, like, did what I say make any sense, or is what you're saying the version of that? Uh, like, is God, like, a, a standard of emotions that you feel and clarity that you receive when you stop letting your ego inhibit your own progress? Or is, is God more of an agent, uh, like a person, you know, building blocks? I, I, I think that... Um, what, is, what is this God that we're talking about? I hope that's a fair question. It, it is. I, I often use the analogy that God, if you look at it from, let's say, a filmmaking standpoint, okay. God is the executive producer. Okay. You are the director. Okay. Right? He gives you the funds. He gets you the crew. He gets you the story. So your God made the universe. To the best of my knowledge, sir. Ah, okay, okay. So to, he is to the best of my. I, I, again, I, God, regardless of the gender, name, or whatever, is the creator of the universe. Yes, and okay. I and I believe the older I get, the more I believe that you are given a life purpose, mm. right? And you can choose to embrace it or reject it. But at the end of the day, Ty, all roads lead to God. Mm. God is the destination. Ooh. You just don't know that you're on the journey to <laughs> it. Maybe I do. Well, let me let me no, let me I, ask you a question. When I say you, not you I specifically, you. but in general, we're having fun. <laughs> what is the way that you're? What's the thing that you're doing to know that what you're looking at is a work of creation? What am I doing? 
yeah, like what's the process in your head that you're going through to look at something that like a rock versus like a water bottle and being like, these are two created things. What's the method that you're doing to come to the conclusion that something's a creation? My method? And, and applying that to the God. My method is to stay, is to think about God more than anything else. Is that a reliable way to know if something's a creation or not? That's a, that's a good question. All I know is that when I, again, when I stay out of my own way and I stay connected and I stay in a place of gratitude, life works. Oh. Life works. The further I stray from that, the more I center on the ego, the more I center on material things, pop culture, whatever, yeah. whatever it is, the further I am from the source that will allow me to live my dreams. Here's my question. Is the fact that something makes you comfortable proof that it's true? No. Is the no. fact that something works for you proof that it's true? Oh, no, no, absolutely, no, absolutely. It, so it, what's is, it is justified? true for me. Ah. It is true for me. True for you. Correct, sir. Can I throw something out? Absolutely, please. I got a car that I could drive up here. It's a Chevy Sonic, and I love my... This guy drives a Tesla. <laughs> oh, an, an aristocrat, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see. Well, good luck when that sucker catches on fire, sir. Good luck when the brakes go offline and he's like oh, on yeah. the highway. He's like, sorry, we can't reconnect to our brake system yeah, right the, now. The, 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 Would the, you uh, please like to restart the car? No, I'm driving on the highway right now. Just on a, just on a quick side note. Sure, 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 uh, sure, sure. Anyone who's seen a James Bond film mm. should know that yeah, a self-driving yeah. car is a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, we can go down roads right? here. Right, the windows go up, the doors lock. Good morning, Mr. Bond. Oh yeah. Gas comes out of the right. China's There's... checking in on you. Oh, we can go on so many different tangents here. <laughs> <laughs> but I drive a Chevy Sonic, it's a great car, it's very fuel efficient, yes, sir. but it's a small car. Um, I could, it could be true for me that water and gasoline are the same thing. If it was true for me that water and gasoline were the same thing, how far would I be able to drive on a gas tank full of Aquafina? Is there any merit to something being true to me versus actually true? Well, what we're talking about, Tyrone, is attempting to know the unknowable. And when we face with something we don't know, why not just say we don't know? I find solace in God. It makes you comfortable. Does that make that true, though? Uh, for me. And but when we and are things that are true for me, can they also not be true for anybody else or true in actual reality? That is the the wonderful and uh, unfortunate part about this this time and space that we're in is yeah. that we do have free will, and so <clears throat> I encourage you mm. to believe whatever it is that you believe as long as you are not doing harm to anyone else or yourself. Cool. This is the most intense time ever to I can be see alive. a lot of light in that sentiment, though I wonder, do you care if your beliefs are actually true or not? No. Oh. Well, well all right. No. We'll save ourselves a lot of time. No, no. <laughs> I appreciate talking with you. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I, I, I think that... I think that right now, like, you're, you're seeing addiction through the roof. You're sure. seeing depression, bipolar through the roof. It, you found something that worked for you and oh. it's keeping you sane. If you didn't have this, you may not be in as good of a state right now. And I don't want you to think no, about that. No, no, that is, no. You are, you are absolutely. I'm correct. not in a place to cause anyone harm in these kinds of conversations. Yeah. So, like, if you found something that keeps you stable, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I generally try to just ask questions that make people consider if there's value in believing in true things, and if not, what's good means of getting to that position? Because it's not so much an idea of like. I want you to be uncomfortable. It's more of like, I want you to have a really a deep appreciation for a standard of evidence. Okay. And that's totally yeah, fine. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Brad, I really appreciate this talk. I hope Thank this you so much. I, I would love to come back and, and, and talk about Walk Away. Yeah. I, I'm so, are, are you going to be here tomorrow? I'm going to be here tomorrow. I think we're going to be shutting down. We're, we're already dismantling right now. That's but wonderful. Will you be here tomorrow? We will, I, I'll be sir, happy I to will. talk with you. I will. Yeah, I could, yeah. I, I could do this all day. And, I could and, too. And, and can I tell you how, uh, <laughs> what, what, what thoughtful questions, Ty? You're, you're extremely adept at this because yeah. there's... 
look, everybody needs to be called on their own BS, mm. right? Like every everybody needs a mirror held up to their face. It's an uncomfortable thing. No one likes to, to do self-examination. But I have found through my travels that self-examination is the key to a, a salvation in this 3D reality. Because when you know yourself and you have ownership of yourself, it is something, sir, that can never be taken from you. I can see something. Never be taken yeah. from you. Know thyself. Yeah. And, know thyself. And I'm on the path to help people figure that out too. Yeah? Thank you, sir. Let's do it. I'll Plus, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah? Cool. I think we're dismantling now. I think we're dismantling. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock, dude. Thank you. Yeah? yeah? I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah? Did I sound like a lunatic? No, absolutely not. Hey, would you like my uh, cards? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a recovering narcissist, so I have to watch. Sure. I have to watch myself. No, I think that was a really good talk. It's amazing what you can do with a full stomach and a night full of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Really good. Super thanks. smooth. Yeah. And you got down to the core of like comfort versus truth. Yeah, and, thanks. Uh, wow. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Sorry for, for making fun of uh, or, or poking you. No, that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we have to, what time is it? We have to pack that now. Really? Yeah.